Are you ready to uncover the secrets of data visualization and become a master of turning data into meaningful stories? Ciao guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lore, I'm a data analyst working at Amazon, and today I want to take you on a journey to explore the exciting world of data visualization and give you all the knowledge you need to turn complex data into beautiful, easy to understand visuals. And so whether you're a student or maybe already working in the data analytics space, or maybe just curious about the world around you, this video will provide you with a comprehensive understanding of uh, how to plan your data visualization approach, some design basics, how to select the right chart type, how to communicate clearly with charts, and also the best practices for data visualization, pitfalls to avoid, and many great additional resources. And so sit back, get ready to become a data visualization expert, and let's get into the so what of this video. So first thing first, why should we visualize data? And so with the amount of information in today's world, text heavy and dense materials are ineffective vehicles for decision makers. Instead, we should rethink how we present the information. And this is exactly where data visualization plays a key role. And so data visualization packages information into accessible messages that stakeholders are able to better process, retain and use to make well-informed decisions. And so here, something that I find very interesting is what is called the data to action pyramid. And this involves analysis and data visualization to transform data elements from being readable by computers, and this is the bottom part of the pyramid, and then tables and graphs transform the data into information easily understood by humans. And well, visualization principles and everything that we're gonna discuss in this video highlights key pieces of that information to create knowledge and spark action. And so to move up the data to action pyramid, we must understand how we process information. And so research shows that visual information is processed more easily and stays with us longer compared to text. And something else that I find very fascinating is what is called pre-attentive attributes. And these are things that make it easy for us to process and retain information more quickly and easily. And so pre-attentive attributes are the building blocks of data visualization. And these are, for example, things like length, width, intensity, hue, orientation, curvature, shape, and position. And so now that we understand why visualizing data, let's see how to plan for your data visualization. And so here, I want to show you these matrix here that basically plots types of visual communication on two axes. And so simply put, when you are into the planning stages of data visualization, you will fall more onto the left hand side of this matrix. Whereas when you are implementing and building reports and dashboard, then you will fall into the right hand side. Now let's cover some of the design basics that you will need to bear in mind whenever you are visualizing data. And so here the first design principle regards hierarchy and font. So you should use different sizes and types of font to better organize text. And then think about contrast. So use contrast like light and dark, big and small, thick and thin to highlight and emphasize specific piece of information. And also use color in an effective way. So use color to emphasize or reinforce value and avoid what is called the Skittles effect of using too many different colors and drowning out the key piece of information. And one more thing about colors, make sure to incorporate white spaces to give the eye a break, especially when using different type of colors. Now let's see how to select the right chart type for your visualization. And so here I want to uh, show you a framework that I use all the time and that will give you 100% clarity on which chart type to use. So the first step is to define the types of data that you're working with. So the first type of data is called categorical data. And this is data that can be sorted according to group or a category. And so just to give an example, this can be eye color. So, you know, brown, blue or green. I can be gender, so you know, male or female, or even the type of cuisine, so Italian, Chinese, Indian, and so on. The second type of data is called ordinal. And so this is data of selected categories ordered along a numerical scale. And again, just to give you an example, I can be education level, so you know, high school, bachelor, master, or even a star rating. So one star, two star, three stars, and so on. Then the third type of data is called discrete. And this is numerical data that has a finite number of possible values and units. 
And so again, an example could be the number of children in a family. You know, it can be zero, one, two, three. It can be a number of items in a shopping cart. So 10, 20, 30, etc. And the fourth type of data is called continuous. And this is numerical data that is measured along a continuum. And so this can be a weight. So 150 pounds, 151 151.5 pounds and so on and so when you have defined which types of data you're working with now you can use this map to always choose the best visualization and so now the only thing that you have to do is to understand what would you like to show and so here to make this concept even more clear let's do an example so let's say that i have a weight and height that i'm working with and so these are continuous variables and let's say that i want to show the relationships within them and so if I follow this map, then uh, I will go to relationship, two variables, I have continuous variables. And so the best chart to use would be a scatter plot. And now let's quickly cover how to communicate clearly with charts. And so here, let me show you this example. And so the thing to uh, consider when visualizing data is to declutter your chart. So this means removing default lines, borders, and tick marks that distract your audience. Then you have to create purposeful titles and labels. And so this again makes it clear to understand the key takeaways of your charts and also make sure to use color to add impact and accessibility. And so you can highlight the category with the value of interest and also consider black and white printing and also colorblind audiences. Another super important point that I wanted to cover is the best practices for data visualization. And so the first point is to avoid 3D charts and use a flat design instead. And the simple reason is that in 3D charts, it is difficult to understand where the top of the data ends. The second point is to avoid using pie charts, especially for comparisons. And so not many people know that while the pie chart is one of the most popular chart types, Visually, it is very difficult to interpret angles, and so this makes it less effective as a visual representation of data. And also because even with data labels, the user needs to work to understand the data relationships. Another key point is to use the full axis starting at zero, because starting a graph at zero avoids any chance of your graph being misleading. And there you have it. This is everything you need to know about the exciting world of data visualization. And I really hope you enjoyed this journey and learned something new along the way. And if you actually learned something new, make sure to subscribe to the channel and reach out in the comment section down below. I will also leave here in the screen some other videos that you might want to check out. And well, that's it for today. Ciao for now and see you in the next one.